door here that's not completely covered up so we do have a few areas we can show you guys what it's like to be so much fun to be in a hurricane Yee. <laughs> so we've decided to do like a little prayer walk down to the end of our block across the street and back home just to pray over our area Right now, Steve and I were supposed to be in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. There's no palm trees in the Poconos. No. Uh -uh. We were supposed to leave at noon yes. yesterday, but the airport closed down at 9 a.m. You know why? Because we have a hurricane coming. Oh, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> right after Helene. Now we have Milton. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so we spent all day yesterday preparing the house and putting boards and stuff up. Mm -hmm. And we um, went and bought water and we filled the bathtub up with water just in case we need, because if our water gets shut off then you don't, you can't flush your toilet. So you need to have extra water for that. And what else did we do? Picked up everything around the outside of our house that we yeah, could find. Yeah, go flying around. Yeah, because you don't want stuff lying around in a hundred mile an hour winds. And I don't know what else we did, but I'm pretty exhausted. Yeah. But so we're hopefully... going to sleep. Bye. Oh. <laughs> hopefully we are as prepared as possible. We do have a generator. Yep. So if we lose uh, power, we'll, we will be at least have our refrigerator running. And we have one little window shaker. That's like a little tiny air conditioner that will fit in our family room so we can sleep out here. Tonight, Steve wants to sleep in the bathroom. <laughs> We have a little tiny bathroom, so I think I'm going to be sleeping in the bathroom. He's going to be sleeping in the hall because that's the least Safest amount. Safest room in. Yeah, least amount of windows and stuff in those rooms. So, hey, we're going to take you guys along for it. We'll try to get some video of what's going on outside. If we can find a place that's safe. We aren't going outside ourselves, but we're yes, like we have a stupid couple windows, weathermen. Like this door here that's not completely covered up. So we do have a few areas we can show you guys what it's like to be so much fun to be in a hurricane. Yee. So we shall see you in however. Yeah, whatever, whatever time we do. We're been prayed up. So we just believe in God. He's brought us through lots of hurricanes before. Oh, we are in one of the highest areas in St. Pete. Yeah. So there, it, there are we have no issues with flooding. As a matter of fact, people they evacuate people to our area whenever these things happen. There's a place that they evacuate them to. So we, as far as flooding, we're good. It's just the wind that we uh, always need to pray about. We moved from Colorado, which was about 6,200 feet above sea level. Now we're a whopping 59, I think. 55. 55. 55. Yeah. Woo, we are so high. <laughs> you almost get nosebleeds here. <laughs> but we're glad we're that high. Because yeah. there's not that many places that are that high. So we, we are just thankful to God that he'll get us through. We have that food and water. And we're, as far as we know, we're ready to go. So we will talk to you guys later. Yep. Bye. We've decided to do like a little prayer walk down to the end of our block across the street and back home just to pray over our area. We're going to pray um, part of Psalms 91 so yeah. that God will just watch over us and protect us. And everybody else in the neighborhood. So I don't know, I don't know if the camera's going to get filled with water, but we'll see, okay? Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We just thank you, Father God, that your angels are round about us, Father God. You said that no evil would come nigh on colony. That you have sent your angels to charge over us to protect us in all our ways that we would not even dash our foot against the stone. We just thank you, Father, that you are watching over us. Not that you are there. <laughs> thank you, Daddy. We thank you, Father God, for watching over every house in this neighborhood. Our home and all of our neighbors. We have really great super neighbors and we want you to watch over them, Father. There's the end of our block. Every oak tree will stay up. Yes. Thank you, Father. Let me get a little gusty. I wonder what that big around that oak tree is. I don't know. Okay, cross the street. Back down towards home. <laughs> 
got these big trees. Father God, I thank you that these trees will stand up. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. See, we have these big oak trees in our, our neighborhood. They're the, they're the things that always kind of creep me out a little bit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You are good. You are good and your mercy and your spirit. You will protect us and every neighbor. There's not a Christian family that lives right here. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Daddy. You're watching over us and protecting us. We speak that Nelson will weaken in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everywhere we put we put our feet, Father God, you'll watch over. Protect us. Thank you, God. This family has a newborn baby. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you. This is Billy here. This is a Jewish family. Sweet couple. She's an artist. They're really nice. We have some really nice neighbors. This family here. They're all Spanish. They're the two boys. They're from uh, Spain, right? Yeah. Billy, nice people. Okay. So should we head back? That's right there is the end of our block. Yeah. That's our neighbor next door. She has two little kids. Her name's Hope. And her husband's a fireman. And the red house, that's ours. Thank you, Daddy, for protecting our home, our tree up. Yes. every part of our house, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> our porch is all ready, I think, for the storm. It's called hunkered down style. <laughs> yeah. God is good. Amen. We are protected in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, let's go inside. Good time for a lot of folks. The, the, these uh, the evacuations, you know, your phone, my phone's been going off every, every time you enter a new county, your phone goes into a, a, a uh, you know, a new warning of some sort. And it's, it's kind of eerie. Now we get, you know, we get these feeder bands. We're getting one right now. I'm underneath a uh, gas station awning, but these feeder bands come in and they're just sideways rains, blinding rains. Um, we have multiple tornado warnings, like you mentioned there. That, that's been the story. Uh, the unbelievable footage coming in with these tornadoes. I mean, uh, it's crazy. Like, you know, uh, you know, there's going to be tornado warnings, but whether or not they ever, you know, verify, uh, th that's been the story so far. Yes, we. One, one second. Hello. Yes. Yes. Good, good, good. Thank you. Yes, we just got an update. It's going to be better than we thought. The, the, what? What? Yes. <laughs> The winds aren't going to be as strong as what they were saying. It's going to be a little bit later at night, but it's farther south. It's going to be, I think, it's going to be right in between two towns. It's going to thread the needle right up in between Ooh. it. So it's going to be, praise God, good. Yes, it is. Amen. The uh, lots of storm surge, but not so yes. much wind. That's why you, evap you blah, evaporate. Blah, 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 blah. No, you evacuate oh, yeah. out by the water <laughs> or if it's really bad you'll evaporate yeah. we're doing all right palm trees moving there a little bit this big tree the one i was a little worried about it's doing good look at that thank you jesus hold it up we got angels Whoa. Hang on here. Hey, we're in the dark now. She's out on the porch. I can't hear you. <laughs> Come inside, crazy. Hey, three. Okay, we are sitting in our fall. <laughs> on a couch cushion. <laughs> because it felt like it was the safest place. But now it's all quiet, and we looked up and it said we are in the eye wall, mm -hmm. and we only have like a half an hour more of extreme weather. 
Yay! <laughs> It'll be over. We had some voodoo light stuff happening. Oh, it's really the, cool. The, the transformers were popping and blowing up kind of thing. It was just, it sounded like a 1950s sci-fi movie. Yeah. <laughs> and, and there was lights flashing everywhere. Yeah. And it was going, ooh, ooh. It's really cool. Ooh. I thought it was kind of scary. That's what made it cool. It's not cool. <laughs> I'm glad we're in the wall, eye wall, and pretty soon it's going to be over. We're sitting on the wall <laughs> in the eye wall. Oh, I'm I tired. don't really care what it's going to be like tomorrow because it's, it's been crazy and I think there's going to be all kinds of damage for Florida. We are so thankful to God that our house is still standing. Yes. And we only have a little bit longer to go, and we know we're going to be just fine. Yep. All right. Good night. So, talk to you later. <laughs> okay, we survived the night. Now we're getting ready to go look around the neighborhood. It was amazing. When I first came out this morning, it was pitch black, and I just could see the not see and see because there was no light. And uh, we got a surprise in our front yard. Yeah. From oh. across the street. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll show you guys right now. All right, here it is, the sidewalk. And here is a huge tree that came It used came to be off. across the street. It used to be across the street. Now it's on our lawn. Thank God it missed our house. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I was praying about that tree, too. Because it's been hanging across our street for years. That house is our house, the red one there. Here's our house. And then down the street, there's another tree down. This is our, our next door neighbor. Say hi, Noah. Ooh. In, Say hi, do you have a tree? Look at this tree. That's our house, peek it through there. And then this is our next door neighbor. Okay, we're going around the neighborhood. We got our little bug out. See what we can, see what we can see. Lots of trees down. We just walked yeah. around the block a little bit. Well, but yeah. Gonna be a long time cleanup here, I think. Thanks. Another palm tree. You usually see palm trees come down. Yeah. Oh, these old oak trees. So sad to see them come. It's kind of like that tree in Sequoia. Oh, yeah.
lineman truckers bringing us power. Please bring power to our house. Yes, thank you, God. Please bring power to our house. <laughs> yes. Little tilt over there a little bit. This is like a block from our house. All these trees are down here, and big ones too. Oh, does that, is that a lineman or is that, a, that tree people? Tree people, I think. Oh, so are they, are they cutting our tree? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yay, they're working on our tree. Whoops, I got my finger in the film. Yay, thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah! We're gonna take the tree off. Oh, there it goes! Woo! Seat here. A what? A new chair, Kenwood. <laughs> it's a Kenwood resting area. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty nice. Turn around and look at that mess. Oh, Anybody got a couple of pickup trucks? <laughs> okay, so the storm came in Wednesday night and early Thursday, and today is Saturday. Yep. But we woke up and we didn't have any electricity. Uh, we didn't have any water. They had shut the water down. Mm -hmm. They have since uh, allowed the water to be used, but it's a boil only yeah. alert, basically. You, have to have, yeah, you can't drink any of the water. You have to boil it, the water to wash your dishes, to um, brush in your teeth. They have to boil water for everything or have bottled water. Yeah. But it could have been a lot worse. We have a generator, which is good, but <laughs> we keep uh, praying for gasoline because we are getting low on gasoline. We don't know when the electric is going to be restored. And so, and the gas lines are atrocious. Seems like it's even more than back in the 70s when they were having all the gas problems with yeah, the Middle East. Really. I want to show you just a quick clip of one gas station. What do you think about that? Yeah. <laughs> and never that done only, that. That was only one entrance to that gas station. There was another entrance where it was backed up. Almost as, yeah, almost almost as long. long. Yeah. yeah. And every gas station has been like that. And Steve went out really early this morning, like around 5.30, and he heard that a gas station was going to get, well, it was, was going to get gas. And he went and he sat there for how long were you there? It was about almost two hours. And then a policeman drove through on a loudspeaker and said, I just want to let you all know that they found out that Wawa is not going to get gas delivery today. So we're just praying that, that our gas will, God will cause our gas to increase. So we've been sharing a little bit with the girl next door to us when her husband is a firefighter, well, a paramedic for a fire department. He was gone. And so we kind of helped her out and we gave her some of our gas. And then when he came back, uh, he gave us some gas back. So we do have a little bit of gasoline yep. for the generator for a little bit. We don't want Praying all the food to spoil in the yeah. refrigerator and stuff. But in comparison to other places, it's nothing like 
North no. Carolina and so forth. No, I think most of the damage, especially in our area, was tons of trees are down. Yeah, old, yeah. old oak oh, trees. Oh, yes, kind of sad. And a lot of signs for businesses were destroyed. A lot of fences are down. But right in our area, it's really not too bad. It's just the no water and the, and the electric. As far as uh, the parts of St. Petersburg, it's really low lying. I really, we don't really know what's going on, how bad it is down there, but yeah, we're praying for them. Okay, we're stopping at a little beach town called Gulfport. It's just south of St. Petersburg. It's about two miles from our house, a little more. Then we go check it out because it's right there on the beach. Right on the Gulf. I'm driving up, not looking too good, but we yeah. thought we'd get out of the car and walk around a little bit. It's a really cute little beach town. Get them a, a few months, they'll be back. Yeah. yeah. A lot of a lot of hangout here. Uh, we'll good go restaurants. See. Yeah. yeah, there's one of our favorite restaurants that we like to come to out here. I haven't seen what it looks like now. They're boarding it up or something, yeah. re rebuilding the inside. We're going to go see and take you guys along. What do you see? Look at this boat up here. Oh, geez. Right into the casino. Yeah. Well, the pier's still there. Yeah. What is that? It's a mast from a sailboat. Wonder where the rest of the boat is. Oh my goodness. So the restaurant behind me, across the street, so bad he's been eaten there many times. Yeah. Praying that they get it back up and running. Been there for years. Yep. Yeah. Really sad. This is a park where I used to take my granddaughters to play. There's not supposed to be a boat up here. Uh. Not supposed to be there. That's the parking lot. So we always wanted to take a minute to pray for all of those that have lost their homes, their live, uh, livelihoods, businesses, and especially for people in North Carolina and that region up there, it's so terrible. We were watching that news before this hit us. Now, of course, we haven't been able to keep up with what's going on, we really don't know. But we just want to take a minute to pray and that you guys would join us too in that prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Father God, we just come to you in the name of Jesus, Father, and you know every single person that's hurting because of these two hurricanes, Helen, Helene and Milton, Father God, and we just pray for you, lift up all those daddy that have lost loved ones, Father God, that you would be their comfort, that you put your arms around them, that you would um, just comfort them in this time of loss. And for all those, Father God, that have lost their their businesses or their homes or just their lives are like in chaos right now. Father God, we just ask that you would restore to them what the enemy has stolen. That you would restore back to them sevenfold, Daddy. And that you would once again give them hope. And for those, Father God, that don't know you, Father God, we just ask that 
that their hearts would turn towards you because you are the hope, Father God, that they're looking for. And we know there are so many Christians out there working, Father God, and helping them. And Daddy, we just ask that the people that need to know you would cry out to you and, and the Christian people would respond to that and lead these people to you, Father God, because there, there is nothing we can do compared to what you can do. So we just pray for them, we lift them up, we ask you to restore to them, give them hope once again. Yes. And we just uh, ask that you give us reprieve from all these storms, Father God. And we just ask it in Jesus' name. Yes. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Thank you guys for coming along with their story. I don't know if we'll be adding any more. You can just lift us up in prayer and ask God to supply the electric and the gas that we need. And, and we will look for a joyful, happy, episode next week. I don't like to be able to take a shower. Oh, yes, I wish she would. Our showers are really cold. Please. Yeah, I know. I know. Women, we complain about the craziest things. All right. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We get a nice hot breakfast. Thank you, Bob Evans, for being open and biscuits and gravy and cinnamon dips. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever had those, but they are awesome. Okay, let's pray and eat. Yeah, put that thing down. Okay, let's okay, we just helped Bob Evans get their sign restored. <laughs> oh, boy. What a mess. <laughs> yeah, it was over there, too. Yay! This weird kind of <laughs> brightness came on in the house. I like <laughs> After we'll see. We went up Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, back on today, Sunday, four days. We that, sure are wusses. Yeah, that was the longest our lights have ever been off. Oh my gosh, thank you, Jesus. Funny thing is, it's uh, it's only on our side of the street. If it's like to stand there. It had side. nothing to do with it. And as far as I can tell, I'm not sure any other houses on this side have <laughs> How to make enemies. <laughs> I'm sure on our side of the street they do. We just can't see it right now, but I'm so thankful. Thank you, Jesus, for light, for Amen. air conditioning, for all of it. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> hey, hey!